I hear customers asking me, not, you know, how do you, how do I increase my revenue or how do I solve my stickiness with my customers? They're like, what do I do about virtualization? There is an imperative in the IT industry and the business literature today about virtualization is a magic bullet. You have to be doing it. If you're not doing it, there's something wrong with you. Um, and so I think organizations are believe that this will transform them in some way. Maybe not as big as the dot-com revolution. Um, and I think this is an interesting aspect about services um, because it requires then not just implement this for me, but the kind of architectural and business assessment services that we've done in the past where you say, um, what are you doing in this area? Where might you use this technology? How far advanced are you in being able to absorb the technology? One of the things about being able to use virtualization is are your operational procedures relatively well defined? Um, in some ways virtualization makes things simple, in other ways it makes it hard. One of the challenges that we see is that um, historically there was one operating system on each computer. And then we have the 10Ks, the 15Ks, and the 25Ks where there could be an operating system on each of the boards. Today we could put maybe, you know, 5, 10, 15, 100 operating systems on a single computer. And many companies have historically charged internally or externally through outsourcing contracts um, a contract on a per system basis. And the reason they did that was just convenient because it's actually the operating system that requires all the maintenance. It's where you configure the addresses and the ports and the services and, and the memory configuration, etc. So companies that have moved past one operating system per computer to four operating systems per computer to ten operating systems per computer realize that that computer has become ten times as complicated to maintain and administer. So you need, uh, you first need some assessment services to determine when you're going to use virtualization. Um, where, where is it appropriate? Where is it most useful? Where do you change things all the time? Where are you changing things every week? Where would it be easier if you could do that more automatically than have to go in and physically reconfigure things? And if, obviously if you don't change or reconfigure a thing for two years, then it's probably a waste of time to try to virtualize it. Um, but if it is volatile and you do need to change it, well, do you have well-defined processes? Have you written them down? Have you verified that they work? Um, so we move from providing an assessment service to providing a, a service that improves your operational capability. It helps you specify runtime services. It helps you do the basic system administration fundamentals that everyone should have documented. Run books. And then if you've got the run books and you've got the business goal identified, then we can also come in and help you implement virtualization, whether that would be operating system virtualization, hypervisor, storage virtualization, application level virtualization with J2E containers, but apply the right level of technology. And I think that's one of the strengths of Sun is that we not only are probably one of the only two companies that sell a full cornucopia of technology, IT technology that we make. Um, but we also sell a full repertoire of the virtualization environments, you know, the hardware, software, storage, networking, et cetera. Um, so that we're capable of balancing, well, should this application be virtualized in the application layer or should it be virtualized in the operating system. So you just run a bunch of different ones in different operating systems and create several images of them. And obviously it depends on things like the transaction load and the software and the business case, et cetera. So I think this is probably the, a time that's unusual when technology is going to drive new business opportunities rather than having to a priori say, I absolutely have to have the business problem identified before I go looking for the technology. I'm wary of these times, but I would hate to have missed out on the internet revolution. Um, and I think most companies have some sort of a virtualization pilot proof of concept investigation, et cetera, going. Um, so I think we can help. We can help with assessments. We can help with 
um, improving the operational readiness and we can help with the actual implementation and selection of various technologies. And if you get it built, well, we can even help do managed services. Virtualization, kind of like the second, or maybe it's a mini internet for the new millennium.